What's good, YouTube? It's books. They left it. I got a post scoring bill video for y'all today, and that's it's, it's gonna be called a paint defender, but it's definitely a post scorer. So we're gonna get into that. We're gonna be at the center position, and I'll show y'all how to make it. You're gonna wanna go with the finishing and shooting pie chart. Now I know I know some people make post scores with with other pie charts for sure, but with this pie chart you're gonna have Hall of Fame shooting for your D fades, for your um for your post scoring and everything and more just for finishing. So you're gonna be good with that one and you can make it with the third pie chart, but you kinda if you make it that way you get one less defensive badge and it's just it's just a little different. It's not really not really better. This one is gonna be stronger too, so I'm gonna show you how to make that. But go with the second pie chart, finishing shooting, and you're gonna wanna go with the balance pie chart all the way at the bottom for the 73 strength. And you're gonna wanna put close shot at 87. Max your driving layup, your driving dunk, standing dunk, and max your post hook. So you're going to get 24 finishing badges. For your mid range, we're just going to put that at 53. Just because it's a couple points left over. And if you ever is in that situation in the mid range, you definitely can use that. Even though it's still low. But you're going to get your badges from your post fade. And five shooting badges, you could put those on, um, like, uh, you could, you could use high zone hunter, you could use deep phase, depending on exactly how you play with the build and how much you actually use in the phase and everything. But you don't need to put the MIDI on there. I just put it on there, uh, just as I, I know I would, I would use them points and you can't really get no other badges anywhere else, but um ball handle put that at 33 just because we got a few points again and you're gonna max out interior perimeter put that at 45 max out lateral max everything else out so you're gonna come out with 12 defensive badges and that's that's the most defensive badges you can get on this build so that's, that's pretty much why I didn't fill up the perimeter defense, and you you can't you can't get no more uh, finishing badges neither. So yeah, so this was not really not really a point of putting anything else on there. Uh, you're not getting no playmaking badges with that little bit of points, so you might as well just throw some on ball handle or throw them throw them all on. Uh, on, on mid range, and you come out with six. But you you know when you if you're playing in a one v one, and you backing down, you, you pretty you pretty much gonna get ripped a little bit. So if you wanna stop that, you could just you could just put the, all those points on uh on see a ball handle. So that's that's probably what I would do. But again, you can you can still use that midi and have another uh another shooting badge but that's up to you though so I ain't, I ain't gonna sell y'all we got 24 6 1 and 12 definitely a good badge layout for a post score and you gonna go up to 7 3 now you don't got to but I know I know a lot of people who have post scores and wanna wanna go 7 3 so that's 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 just what the what the what the people is doing. So <laughs> we gonna go seven three, max your weight out, and so you get your strength up to ninety five with max weight, and everything everything else looking pretty good. Like you only losing perimeter and lateral, but you a post scorer and interior defense is good. Eighties is always good, and. You don't want to max out your wingspan, so your standing dunk go go up to 95, and just with with that last extra notch, you just get a, a plus. Block. And 
it's, it's, it's pretty much all that's all that's for. But you actually, actually, yeah, you could go 96 on the wingspan, just so you got an extra plus one on your strength. And go, you got to choose from post score and takeover, and rim protector takeover. So we're gonna go with the post score, and that's your paint defender. Now it's not the pure red pie chart. If y'all if y'all want the paint defender with the pure red pie chart, I definitely could do that. But the way the way this this build is just made, that's that's just the name you get from that one. But um, for your finishing badges, so you're gonna be a post scorer. So first thing, well, first thing contact finisher, but second. You know you're gonna wanna throw on deep hooks, slithery, relentless on at least silver. You're still gonna be catching some lives in there, so you're not just gonna be backing down. Then you go back down, punisher, drop stepper, be slaying no giants, but I would throw on consistent and that's that's pretty that's pretty much oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about put back boss. Definitely can't forget that. I'll probably go, probably go right there. You really don't need Live City higher, but you could you could throw that on. You really don't need Drop Stepper. A lot of people really don't know what to do with the Drop Stepper badge, so just just letting y'all know y'all got options. But that's where I would go with the finishing badges for shooting. You got Hall of Fame Deep Fades. Now, that's what the difference is in the way you make it from the other pie chart. If you go Hall of Fame Finishing and Gold Shooting pie chart, you're just not going to get Hall of Fame Deep Fades. So, that's, that's pretty much all that is. Then the other two, you could throw that on High Zone Hunter. So, if you got High Zones in you in the areas where you fade from, you know what I'm saying, you're going to you definitely gonna have that boost from high zone hunter also so that's where I would go with this build not really gonna be using catch and shoot if you we use catch and shoot on a different type of build with uh with higher shooting stats but it's a post score so we ain't gonna do that and for your playmaking badge you can either put that on postman technician or quick first step I definitely would put it on quick first step but it's it's the quick first step on bronze work better than postman technician on bronze. So I will say that. Now you in the post, you're gonna wanna definitely throw rebound chaser on at least silver. You you seven three really, so you really don't need it. You really don't need it higher than bronze, but you're not that agile with this build, so you definitely do need it on. You can throw rim protector on. Gold, bronze chase down, gold intimidator, and then you could throw on like moving truck if you use that, brick wall, bronze clamps, I mean silver clamps, uh, but you might want to throw on box, you might want to throw on wire, and I just know some people. It it, it depends on what what mode you playing in, really, with your post score. So that really would would uh, determine where you put the badges at. But that's your um, paint defender. I think one gonna be one of the best post scoring builds. So just wanted to drop that for y'all. And I'm book stay lifted. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.